Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about what is a Fourier series. In words, Fourier series is known as an expansion or approximation of a periodic function by an infinite series of trigonometric functions. Fourier series is very useful in many areas such as advanced noise cancellation, signal processing, and ECG that we are going to discuss it in this video. Fourier series concept is to approximate the function by adding a series of sine and cosine terms with decreasing amplitudes together. As we take more and more terms, the combined signal starts to look like the original periodic function. If we simulate the summation until first 90 terms, as you can see from the video, we are getting very close to the original periodic function, y equal x. We can modify the amplitude of the function, it will generate different graph. Or we can modify the sine term, with different combination of sine term cosine term and their amplitude, different function is generated. If a function is defined in the range from negative L to L, the equation of Fourier series is shown, which, A0, An, and Bn are Fourier coefficients. A0 represents the constant, An represent cosine amplitude, and Bn represent sine amplitude. For modeling an even functions, we will use the cosine terms, and the sine term will be simplified to zero. Similarly to model an odd function, we will use the sine terms. For example, suppose a even function y equals x square. Calculate its Fourier coefficient. We will found that bn always be zero. The synthetic ECG diagram is mainly made up by two different types of waveforms, namely the parabolic waveform and the triangular waveform. As you can see, the P wave and the T wave can both be represented as parabolic functions, and they only differ in shift and width. The waveform in the QRS complex is triangular, and they can be divided into two parts, the ascending part and the descending part. The P wave and T wave can be approximated using a parabolic function, that is Ft equals negative T square, and we make it a periodical function. Hence, we apply Fourier series to get the approximation of the waveform. By calculating the coefficients, a0, ak, n, bk and substituting back to the equation, we are able to derive the corresponding equation as shown in equation 4. For the ascending triangular waveform in the QRS complex, we use the elementary linear function, ft equals t and make it a periodical function. Again using Fourier series, we get the corresponding equation as shown in equation 8. For the descending triangular waveform, we use the elementary linear function, ft equals negative t. Decomposition using Fourier series results in equation 12 as shown. These show the example of ECG. Tachycardia refers to a rapid heart rate. The simulation is done by shortening the isoelectric line between individual parts of the basic synthetic ECG. Bradycardia refers to a slowed heart rate. The only difference with tachycardia is there was a significant prolongation of isoelectric line. Atrial flutter is a type of heart failure which is caused by abnormal proliferation of cardiac conduction in atria. The simulation needs stronger intervention in basic model of synthetic ECG signal. In short, Fourier series is very useful in ECG. It simplified the job of those researchers working in hospital. They can easily simulate the graph using the formulas. Fourier series has a wide range of applications beside ECG. It is very useful in other areas as well.